Danielle Clayton back with Monday Minutes via Emerging Black Network. So now you are in the home buying phase, right? What you want to do first is meet with a real estate professional. You want to discuss the type of home you are looking for, style, location, and price. That is very, very important because this is going to be your home, right? Getting pre-approved is the next step. You will need to ensure that you have W-2s, bank statements, and also pay stubs. Getting pre-approved, it will help you determine how much home you can afford. This step, it is extremely critical. House shopping without a pre-approval, it can dampen your dreams if you're not able to qualify. And who wants to be hurt that way, right? It's also a waste of time to you and as well to your chosen realtor because let's just face it they can be helping other customers as well too so now the fun part here we go are you ready it is home shopping now that you have pre-approved for the house that you want or not for the house that you want but now that you qualify your agent will schedule your showings and your agent will also help you find the perfect home now, what you want to do is keep in mind that not all real estate sites, they are giving you the same information, okay? You have, you know, your Zills and your Trulias out there, but your real estate professional has many other resources, tools, and systems into place, and they can also check available homes. Sometimes you won't have access to that information that your realtor can. Next thing after you found your home is to make an offer. Your realtor or your agent, they will prepare the best offer based on the price and also the terms in which you choose. Negotiation and contract. This is the next phase into the home buying process. It may take a few tries, you know, going between back and forth between a buyer and a seller, but hang in there because this is all a part of the process. So please, do not spaz out. The next thing is escrow. A lot of people don't know what escrow is, but you and the seller, let's say you all have agreed to the price and the terms. The home is effectively held for you until closing. The final details come next. This is where performing any type of due diligence is taking place or comes into play. And an appraisal is ordered. Inspection as well too. I can't emphasize an expansion enough. You know, sometimes you may not need one, but it is best to have one. And terms are also reviewed with the lender in this process as well, too. Now you can prepare for what? Closing. This is the exciting part. This is where you will get your keys to your brand new home that you and your family deserve. You'll be finalizing your loan. You'll also be re reviewing documents and discussing findings from the inspection because let's face it no one wants to move into a wood rotted home or if there are electrical issues or so so this is very important you know you'll get those findings at the closing table well upon closing now what is closing a lot of individuals don't know what that is. We may see that term closing or clear to close, especially across social media, right? In this dawn of age in which we're in. This is the transfer of funds and ownership. A title company or an attorney, they typically act as an independent third party to facilitate the closing. This is all the normal process. Please do not worry once you start seeing other individuals throughout this process. So that is the closing process. So now that is out the way. You've signed all of your documents, right? Checks have been cut. So congratulations on receiving your keys. You are officially a homeowner and throughout this process, you deserve it. You deserve it for hanging in there. Once again, this is Danielle Clayton with Emerging Black Studios, Monday Minutes. You can follow me on Instagram at I am Danielle C as well as Facebook, Real Estate with Danielle. Have a great day.